Hello and welcome to Everything to Guppy, the podcast where we talk about every single... I- oh, breaking news! Breaking news! Uh, Winnie the Pooh has been executed by, by the, the Chinese government. Yeah. Uh, and it's sad because it was his children who executed him. He fathered many children there. Y- yeah. No. Uh, but Winnie the Pooh's dead and yep. gone. Yep. And gone. <laughs> yep. Yep. Uh, but the nice thing about fictional characters is if you believe enough, he can come back. Yeah. If you know, Garrett, I, I, could you read, uh, scratch a little dirt off that text? It's if you donate enough to Patreon requesting it <laughs> to get his own show that Will's not on. Oh yeah. Oh man. The uh, Winnie the Pooh show. Yeah. Gary, Poo-cast? you can do it. He's public domain. Fucking we can I, do an improvised children's Winnie yeah. the Pooh show. You could be Dracula. Fuck, Gary, God damn it! I was going to be Dracula in a minute. Oh. <laughs> Before you said it. <laughs> well, I just I was thinking about uh, public domain characters. Yeah, me too. And some traits of Sherlock Holmes, but not his care or love for his family. Yeah. Yeah. Lots of, uh, I know you think Lovecraft. You can be uh, Randolph Carter and Winnie the oh, Pooh. Yeah. A little, uh, little questionable there. A little racy. There. A little racy. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, anyway, this is everything the Guppy Podcast where we do the thing we do. I'm William Hughes. I'm joined, as always, by a guy who can maybe use a little famine, Gary Butterfield. It's 100 percent true. I have put on some COVID weight, my friend. Gary, I think yeah. I might have popped up a cup size. Yeah, I. Uh, for me, it's weird if I look at myself nude in the mirror. Uh, it's not uh, that. I uh, that was a burp, and I decided to roll with it. You yeah, know, uh, I, I often get a little <laughs> uncomfortable when I look at myself nude. Nerd. Uh, and I'll, I'll just be like, I just look like me, you know? And uh-huh. then I'll put on a shirt and I'll be like, oh, I can see my titties like way more than usual. Hey, you know, we like that on ladies sometimes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's different. It hits different with a man. Sometimes. Tits just hit different with a, with me sometimes with a man. I, I don't know, Gary. You got perky little ones. They're not bad. They're not bad. Like, uh, you know, yeah, we, I, I got to spend a lot of time in close proximity to Gary during uh, Duck Stream and his tits. And, and yeah. Gary, I think you're looking pretty good. Thank you. I'm feeling pretty good. I'm, uh, you know, just uh, doing just clean living. <laughs> yeah. So Winnie um, the Pooh told me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Very yeah. clean living. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, I'm glad he told you because I didn't want to get into it twice. But it's been a thing. Uh, just just re- when I say recently, when he says recently... He just meant the last couple of days. Okay. So it's like, it's, it's recent enough to possibly be actually weird and worrying, but you know, <laughs> like, I don't know what's going on. Gary, let's role play that doctor's office visit real fast. Sure. Am I me or am I Winnie the Pooh? Uh, you're you and I'm the doctor. Okay. <clears throat> hey, Dr. Alferis. Hey there, Gary. Oh, are, are you okay, Dr. Alferis? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not Dr. Alferis. I've, Oh, you have a new physician. It's me. Is it, is it Sweet Tooth, the serial killer, killer clown? Who's this? Oh, I'm sorry. I, I I thought you would know me from my little red shirt. I'm Dr. Winifred Pooh. Oh, hello, Mr. Pooh. Oh, bother. Oh, yes, indeed. Uh, What's, well, what seems to be the problem, Garrison? Um, Well, Mr. Pooh. Uh, Garrison I'm Lewis. Actually, I've actually, uh, it's about pooing. Uh I've been that was, what, what, Why did you say that like I have some special connection to... Is it because of my last name? That's very racist. Well, I don't know if it's racist, if it's about your last name. I, yeah, I think, I, I think it's racist if it. I say it's racist. It made me feel bad. You know, there's a lot of... There's a lot of we can get into yeah. on that. You want to and litigate that or you want to move on with the premise? No, I mean, I, I feel like that's probably, that's something I'm very interested in, actually. <laughs> we, 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 we take some time, Mr. Pooh, and litigate this in our off hour. Dr. Pooh! Oh, okay. Uh, I've been taking uh, shits and then they've been suspiciously clean in terms of the wipe department. Oh, my God. Yeah. You know, I... Just for the last couple of days. I, I figured I'd see you right away. Well, Gary, I regret to inform you that surprisingly clean shits is the number one warning sign of colorectal cancer. Oh, no, you You're, think it'd be the opposite. No, no, it's they're catching on the tumors, all the poop is. Oh, and oh, scraping no. off all the wettest bits. Oh, I've got like little cleaners internally. And I have to tell you that the prognosis on that one's grim. Oh, no. Well, I guess I'll just bend over and you can check it out. 
All right. There you mm-hmm. go. Go to town, honeypot. My God, it's the cleanest asshole I've ever seen. And that's saying something. You're Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> nice to see you're not fictional, by the way. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. I'm you, are, you might be the realest man I've ever met. I'm extremely. Well, I'm real now, but if I get excited, I get slightly less real. Mm, so, not that much real, less real. Yeah, well, you're going to get me there? Like, how do you know? <laughs> like, it's a weird thing to say. <laughs> like, somebody who's, no, I can just look at it and rest. tell. I, you think so, but that's where, the, that's where the phrase comes from. You can't tell. It's weird. Gary, and scene. Uh, <laughs> we accomplished everything we need to do artistically with that scene. Gary, artistic is definitely the adjective that that scene was begging yeah. for. Yeah. I think that uh, that was uh, important. Gary, I was a little worried we wouldn't hit our stride today, but goddamn, we're... Uh, <laughs> we, we hit it. Yep. It's, uh, it, hit it's it amazing. and quit it. It's, uh, it's amazing how uh, before we took the break, not you and I specifically, but I took the break from recording in general. Oh, Gary, real fast, I'm uh, contractually obligated to go, we were on a break. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we are on a break. Uh, I'm also contractually obligated to say Locust of Famine uh, does double your damage and nothing else. Oh, it slows enemies as well. Um, yeah, it's it's good. It's good. The um, They're all kind of good, right? If you, like, gulped all four or all six of them or whatever, that's a good run. That'd be incredible. Um, I needed that break so fucking bad. I was so angry all the time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, were you, bud? Were yeah, you? I, I, I imagine it was coming through, but I, I, I need it so bad. <laughs> Carrie, I'll, I'll shock, I'll shock you to inform you, it was coming through a little. Yeah, yeah. I, I just, I really needed a break. <laughs> just I, I get really on Twitter and see which flavor of Lewis Black impression Gary was doing online today. I, so mad. I was so mad. Like the, every day I was just like waking up mad, going to bed mad. I was recording mad. I was so mad. And then I took a vacation. And I feel so much better. Yeah. And the, how long will it last? Three weeks, maybe? You just, <laughs> I'll be back. Gary, to- you just got to go to that old telephone that you're, you're, you we're talking through right now and just delete the Twitter. Uh, it's not, it's not just that. I was getting mad at other stuff too. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I got to delete the Slack. Got to delete. I don't got to delete the Slack. Slack's nice. <laughs> I was just getting. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave an edit note here as Gary realizes he's fucking with the money. <laughs> no, I, I just I was just getting irritated at everything is the truth. Yeah. So it was just uh, things I'm not usually mad about. I was getting mad about. And the were you getting uh, mad about uh, Paul Reiser and Helen Hunt? Very mad. I was getting uh, getting very mad about uh, Couplehood, the Paul Reiser novel. It's, it's not a novel. It's like a. It's not a novel. It's a uh, selection of humorous musings, much like yep. sign language or Babyhood, the sequel to Couplehood. Yeah, uh, Gary, you're getting those books when you're hanging out at Dewey Decimal Code eight one eight point five four. That used to be my home at the local library because I would eat that shit up. Yeah, all that's where, that's where the books. Dave Barry books live. Ooh, it's a bad neighborhood. It's a powerfully <laughs> annoying neighborhood. Like, Get some Irma Bomb back in there. Sure, whatever Paula Poundstone's up to. I uh, see now. Now the comedians they they don't just do bits. They have to like also make you realize they're real people, and I hate that shit. Yeah, it used to just be funny. Yeah, the uh, it I, used to just I be was... literally Jerry Seinfeld writing down his act and getting millions of dollars for it. <laughs> Last night, uh, I was hanging out. She with, said, with "Honey, with... don't you feel so wrong when it turns we... brown." We were talking about the Fly Girls from In Living Color. Sure. And we couldn't remember how they were integrated into the show. Like I, we knew there were Fly were Girls or knew there were sketches. Well, <laughs> I didn't mean integrated like a water fountain. Uh-huh. I meant like integrated like, like how did that, they, they... Did that joke cross the line? I don't think it did. No, that was a really good joke. I just, <laughs> I, I need to get to my point about Fly Girls. Sure. Uh, is, I, I liked the joke. Uh, but so I, we couldn't find that information, but we did find a still where all the fly girls are dressed up like Paula's Poundstone. That's like, that's there, amazing. There's like a vest, like, you know, Paula Poundstone's look like she kind of looks like a ventriloquist dummy. Yeah. You no, know, I'm, I'm, the, I'm no Gary. My mental model of Paula Poundstone is extremely accurate. Yeah. Imagine four of them as people of color, like hip hop dancing. It was I mean, incredible. It sounds really good. Weren't they just it's really good? Weren't they just like interstitials the way SNL uses the band? Yeah, basically. 
But we just knew, I was like, why did we know who the fly girls were? Like, and it, it's because, I mean, just credits, but they would just be, and the fly girls, and they would just cut to the fly girls. There was no ceremony. They wouldn't talk or anything like that. Yeah. I, I most, yeah. they mostly live in my memory because of the first, uh, Dalton Wilcox, uh, Andy Daly podcast pilot project. Betsy mm-hmm. Sidero is playing an, an old West cowboy <laughs> woman who desperately wants to be a fly girl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I remember that. that was very good. Betsy Sidero is so fucking funny, man. She's awesome. She's very good. She was in uh, the, uh, the issue episode of review. I recently watched, I've been rewatching review because I'm mm-hmm. doing that to live. Uh, and she's great in it. She's uh, in the, um, I think it's her who's in the, uh, the money, the wealth. wealth yes. Yes. He steals her idea. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That is the one where he goes to the orgy and my favorite little character trait of him where he just picks up every, everyone else's phrasing uh-huh. and then repeats it later where he's at the orgy. He's like, I'd like to keep this relationship strictly blowfessional mm-hmm. after his uh, assistant had, had torched him with that. It was very good. Yeah. Forrest McNeil, one of the great, great characters. It is great. Yeah. Th- that show is so good on rewatch. That is all time. I'm glad I bought it on DVD. I'm like, I, I would like to own this because yeah. I don't want to. Yeah. Uh, if, what should people do if they like this show? Uh, you know, they can also check out Joe Parra Talks With You. Are you into that show oh. at all, Gary? Yeah, I like Joe Parra a lot. Okay. I wasn't sure. Like, it's so gentle that I felt like it might be a little <laughs> off Gary vibe, but... Mm-mm. No, no, no. It's very Gary. Like, that works for me real well. Yeah. Uh, I've been I've been exploring that. And then also his weird pre-adult swim stuff. Like, he had a lot of shit, like little mini shows on MTV. Mm-hmm. And things that are on YouTube, and those are real funny. And this has That's been Gary and Will movie. Review... Outsider comedy. comedy. Alt, alt comedy. Yep. Alt comedy. Uh, I keep getting this Joe Parra thing stuck in my head from the most recent season where he, he compares something like floating the ocean like a buoy and his friend goes, Bob a buoy. With no, <laughs> <laughs> that's it. And just continues. <laughs> like, I've been thinking in my head all all day. Yeah. Uh, Patreon and then also ratings reviews on Apple Podcasts or Podcast Addict. Yeah, I think I forgot to read. I think we were so deep in the Winnie the Pooh lore that I do think I. No, we, I did read one. I did read it, didn't I? Yeah. Okay. Thank. Thank. Right. Banjo Kazooie. Important. Then, lore. then, then Winnie the Pooh told that joke your dad told you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Winnie the Pooh, my dad used to hang out all the time. That explains so, a lot. Uh, this one's actually like he's like I would like the you're everything I want in a son. Yeah. To Winnie the Pooh and abandon me for for him. Weird. Weird awesome. flex on your half brother. Yep. Yeah. You ever think about that? That Winnie the Pooh is my half brother, or that or I just have that you have half that you have a half brother, like half siblings. Yeah, I think about it all the time, man. We we spent <laughs> okay. a bunch of time looking at that picture, trying to figure out which one of those might be related to me. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. It's I, like I have some. Yeah, I have some uh, some guesses based off physical traits. The uh, well, the one that we we thought maybe was going to be us, but I think that's actually the one who married my uh, my stepsister. I guess now, yeah, my okay. stepsister. Half, stepsister or half sister? Step stepsister. Okay, the woman your dad married scene. already had a daughter, yes. who I have met. Yes, when I was a kid. Alton Braun writes. Yep. Chef Gamer and Buddy the Elf work out their daddy issues with the magic of undercooked floor potatoes and fistfuls of veg all. Five world's best son trophies out of five. Nice. nice. Topical. Topical. It was when they wrote it. Yeah, very nice. Uh, Aldia. Aldia. 